You again? What now? I spoke to Varric about becoming a partner. Partner? Bloody Varric. I suppose you're the help he promised. It figures. If you see that sodding bastard, bring him here. I want to hear exactly what he's promised, right from his lying mouth. Aveline? Don't get stabbed again. My arms. I need a drink. Aveline? They'll let anyone into high town. So, the Lady Sunshine, what's your first act as a noblewoman going to be? <laughs> a noblewoman with no fortune and no title. Looking for work, probably. Practicality is for peasants, milady. You need to do something frivolous to celebrate your birthright. Such as? Come up to the high town market and complain bitterly that there's no Orlesian silk that matches your eyes. But what if something does match my eyes? What will I do then? Insist that they're blatantly copying you, and demand royalties. A good noble always has a complaint ready, Sunshine. You! Ah, brotherly love. It's quite something, don't you think? Sure is something. Especially when little brother makes promises I can't keep. Bartrand, so suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. So we're partners? That depends. You got the coin we need? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. 
That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. I do have your coin, in fact. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? Didn't I tell you we could find a Grey Warden? Mother didn't raise a fool. Well, she didn't raise two of them. Well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one, and go! Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks, at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready, and we'll head out. Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks, at least. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems... Excessive. He may be Talvashoth. The winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Yes, what is it? Looks like I'm not the only one who saw the bounty posting. Apparently so. And I am regretting it. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. There must be suspicions about why the boy went missing. Why? What have you heard? Nothing. Until now. There is truly nothing known. He is gone, and there have been sightings of a Kunari. The only complication is that Seamus is known to be of a sympathetic mind. He may have placed himself in danger, but it is danger nonetheless. The Kunari are not wild in the city. Petition their leader for the boy's return. The Arishok has declared that it is not his role to do so. Apparently their rebels, the Talvashoth, are hunted anyway, killed for what they are, not for what they may have done. 
That does not bode well for Seamus. This isn't a task for a guardsman? Yes, isn't it? There is a concern of appearance. If we used guards, it would allow Viscount Dumas' opponents to say this admits the Kunari threat because the city responded. In these times, public embarrassment is preferable to official embarrassment. I should know about the competition. The Winters out of Navarra. They don't care one whit if Seamus is returned unharmed. Their lead, Sarah Guinness, is hungry for a foothold in Fair Kirkwall. And frankly, we have enough of their kind. The boy will be home soon enough. Declare it if you like. But the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them, on the wounded coast. And the world's rid of one more canary. Easier than I expected. Call the men back. We've got an appointment with the Viscount. Isn't that right, Seamus? Ashad! You killed him! You... You Vashadan bitch! That one of their words? See, that's why you need to be dragged home. You're playing too nice with those things. I'll wager you've gone even further than that. Haven't you, brat? Sounds like he doesn't want to go with you. Competition? Well, you're too late. The Winters, uh, I, have already claimed him. Sirrah, if I must go back, so be it. But I will not see these murderers rewarded. 
spoiled shit. I'll cut out your tongue and charge extra for bringing you back quiet. And as for you, I could do with some entertainment while we wait for the others. On your guard! <laughs> Dead and good riddance, but she said she was waiting for more. A lot more. We're not giving you up. Strip the camp, and we'll ready a fitting welcome. Get ready! You're pathetic! Need to get closer! That's enough! I've never seen so many corpses. So much blood. We'll get through this. Hold on a little longer. There may be more coming. Never lied. Never coddled. You were worth his time, or you were not. They are not the brutes others claim they are. Take me to my father, and I will try again to make him see. It's clear this was not your first encounter with this... Ashard. I met him soon after their ship founded. I had run, again, to escape the keep and my father. Ashard was to map the coast, to find an answer for the Arishok. I had so many doubts. Kunari have none. I wasn't aware that Kunari take many friends. Perhaps it isn't the right word. I am the Viscount's son, bound by everything that means. Ashard did not care. We were both seeking something. That was enough. I confess, I'm not sure what one does with a dead Kunari. The body is no longer him, and is worthy of no special treatment. That is, apparently, their way. Should his people be told? They will know. Whether they will deign to acknowledge it, I have no idea. 
There was much of a shard that I didn't understand, but it was so very worth trying. The Viscount is clearly concerned about your safety. The Viscount sends thugs to do a father's job. I was in no danger until his help arrived. You could have told him this was your wish. Keep your assumptions. He doesn't hear me. He's as tired of being disappointed as I am of bearing it. And now, Ashad is dead. It's not right. Let's go, Seamus. Your father will be waiting in the keep. Then take me to him. Father. My son. I thought I'd lost you. Enough, Father. Uh, allow me to present one Sarah Hawk, Your Excellency. She fulfilled the bounty. There were complications, but I was privileged to keep your son from harm. I was told the Winters had involved themselves. Was there no way to avoid an incident? They murdered my friend. Where is the concern for that? It was my understanding you were captured alone. Foolishly traipsing about the coast as you do. I was not captured. I was with a shard. The Kunari. They are not monsters to be feared. If you would just try to understand, others would see as well. Better that you were thought abducted than to have their influence suspected in my own family. Benign or not, it's too much. Forgive me, this is a private concern of yours. Your actions are appreciated. The Seneschal will see you out. <laughs> 